I'm going to get off my bag. I need to go for a run. Come on. morning from a very foggy Baton in Sheffield. We're just off this morning on a little scamper um, just visiting some sites for uh, Remembrance Sunday and um, so we're starting off now with Baton Church and uh, in the graveyard. So for obvious reasons there's, there's not the usual um, Remembrance Sunday celebrations um, so that the churches aren't doing services and the the ceremonies aren't happening today, but there are a few nice displays kicking about a few neighbouring villages. So I'm just going to go and check out some of those, some of those sites this morning. So I just made the trip up to Mosborough. Um, there's a bit of an attraction here with uh, cascading poppies down the side of the church. Um, but I didn't want to go past the gate because they were setting up. Um, and they were taking track and trace details as well. So um, I don't, I don't really want to impose on today's today's celebrations that are going off. But uh, they seem to be really, really getting into the spirit in Mosborough. Really making an effort. So we're just heading into Killer Marsh just, uh, just to see what they've got going off. We've just, uh, just stopped by the um, Corporal Liam Riley sta um, statue up on the Trans Pennine Trail. So I'm just going to head up towards um, the church at the top end of Killer Marsh and see if there's anything, uh, anything to see there. So just as I was arriving at Killer March, I just happened to um, stumble across the uh, minute silence that was uh, being held at qu quarter to 11. So it's, uh, it's 11 o'clock, bang on now. Really eerie day with the mist, uh, the number of churchyards I've been in. Um, yeah, it's been it's good to see that communities are, uh, are still trying to make an effort even though uh, they're kind of restricted in what they can do for their Remembrance Day celebrations at the moment. So on a personal note I don't really have any any sort of family war, war stories um, don't really know too much about my family history other than my uh, my granddad that fought in North East Lincolnshire um, but uh, I did do a little bit of family tree research a couple of years ago and there was a there was a few um, that, that lost their lives in World War One, uh, sort of distant uncles and cousins and such. Um, but now it's been great, great to get out and just just have a look at what's going on today. <laughs> 